Welcome everybody to a $10,950,000 brand new modern estate in basically the heart of Miami. And get this, it's waterfront. You have a hundred foot dock with no bridges to bay and beautiful bay views from the upstairs second floor and from your incredible rooftop terrace. The house itself has just under 5,500 square feet of living space with five bedrooms and grand, grand, large entertaining spaces. Now, as you approach and enter the property, you'll notice you have gates all around, right? You have an entire gate. It's basically gated and hedged around the entire property. It's a corner lot, just under half an acre. You have a big driveway over here with the concrete slabs that will have the artificial turf in between. And then you have a two car garage over here. I love the exterior. You have the wood slab paneling on the facade of the home, which is beautiful. I love those accents. And then you see the dark accents on the top with the grays. So you're seeing a lot of grays, browns, and the whites blending together for that modern vibe, right? And then when your guests enter the home, they're going up the steps and you have water features to greet your guests. And that front door, it's a beautiful, massive, big, tall swivel door. And then you enter that home. So without further ado, let's show you the interior of this grand and special estate. We'll see you inside. Welcome inside. Great to see you. You come on in and you're greeted with so much volume, light, space, high ceilings, 30 plus feet in height through these big spaces. But you come on in and you see that beautiful light fixture in the foyer entry. Really nice table here to put down your keys when you get home. And then you see that staircase to the second floor and then to the third floor. Really nice glass staircase. And under it, we have this wine cellar here, temperature controlled. Look at it, I, I love that. And that stone in the, black, in the back, I said in the black because it's black stone. That black stone is also here on the countertop of the bar. This bar is so nice. I love the, the colors they use for the cabinetry. It's like a warm kind of gray tone. And then you have black refrigerator drawers right here with the gold handles, I love that. And this is an ice maker, right? This is the bar here, really, really nice. Look at all the lights, the cabinetry. You have the sink, it's a wet bar. And I love this bar because you're right off of that great room. The great room, the big, the great, the great room because it's big and because it's great, <laughs> pun intended. But this is a huge room here. And the ceilings are about 32 to 34 feet in height. All right, and you have a beautiful light fixture right in the middle coming down. And you see these windows on top bringing in a ton of natural light. And I love it because you're in this space and you look up and you just see clear skies, beautiful clear skies. Well, actually there might be a cloud or two, but you get the point I'm trying to say. And this room I think really makes the home, right? It makes it feel so big. It's a huge room, the volume, the space, the height. It gets all those senses going. And then you're looking out to your backyard, which we'll show you towards the end of the video, of course. But this right here is great. Put the TV up on the wall, you entertain, you converse, you can watch the game. Everybody's really in this one big space. Now, if you want a more intimate space, I'm gonna show you one in a few, but before we get there, we're gonna show you the kitchen. Now the kitchen, as you just saw with the light, all right, it's, it's a motion censored light, so when you walk in, light turns on, right? You have Mila appliances throughout, you have your coffee maker there, and you have your refrigerator and freezer here, of course, as well. Speakers throughout the entire property. So you could have a really, really nice party. Like this house is meant for entertaining. And you know how I feel about sinks with a view? This sink, you're overlooking the view of the great room. I can tell you that this view is great. <laughs> you like that, George? George loves the puns that we throw in there into these videos. Anyways, you have Mila, a cooktop over here as well with the pot filler so you don't have to turn around and fill the pot with water. Really nice, beautiful countertop that has a nice soft touch to it, right? And then here, your meal appliances and your cabinetry continue. This door over here leads to your cabana bath, which goes out, obviously it's a cabana, so that means you have access from the pool, right? But this kitchen's really, really nice. I love the contrast and colors, goes with the floors, goes with all the colors that we've seen throughout the entire property. But look at the angle of this room from here, right? You see the railing upstairs, the, the corridor for upstairs, the, where the bedrooms are, the staircase. Like it's a beautiful view inside and 
outside as well, all right? We'll talk about the outside, like I mentioned, towards the end, but first we'll go down this way. You come over here and you have your formal dining room over here, really, really nice. You're gonna have nice landscaping that comes up there for privacy, but this is a nice space for you to dine formally with your family, right? Really nice, love that light fixture too. And then we come down over here, and this is where I mentioned you could have another kind of like intimate social area, like they have it staged as, right? Like a family room, maybe just more like a place to watch TV, watch a movie. I would say this could be a good movie theater. This could also be a great office. You have the double doors that you could just close. You can make this a multi-purpose space and you have access to go to the outside so you can go to the pool or you can go to the front of the house as well. So this is a multi-purpose room. This right here is an elevator. It goes from the first floor, which is where we are, to the third floor, which is that rooftop terrace we mentioned. And then over here, this is your powder bathroom here. Love that LED around the mirror, really nice. And of course, there's a speaker in there. So when your guests are in the bathroom, they could dance if they wanted to just dance by themselves in the bathroom. That made sense. Anyways, over here, we have the laundry room, we have the maid's quarters as well, the service quarters that has its own bathroom as well, and you have a two-car garage, and the two-car garage has really high ceilings, so you could possibly even put a lift if you wanted to, right? So now we're back out to the space, right? We saw one of the five bedrooms. George wants to go outside? Okay, we'll go outside. George is directing us today. So George says we go outside, we go outside. Now, the lot, like we mentioned, is about 0.42 of an acre, so almost half an acre of land, which is a really good sized piece of land for where we are and considering we're on the water. Come outside. So we come out over here and you notice, this is one of my favorite features of the house, is you have the jacuzzi covered in this covered patio here, which is really nice. And the water from the jacuzzi trickles down into the pool. I guess it's essentially warming the pool too. Look at this, I mean, from this angle, you're probably getting a nice B-roll shot. You have the really nice steps over the pool, which is beautiful. And then you have a little beach area on the pool as well. So that way you could lounge there, but it's a really nice big space. And then you have greenery on this side, yard space. But over here, off of the jacuzzi, and I'm watching where I step, because there's puddles, and I don't wanna drag them into the house. Over here is the summer kitchen. Now, I love the, how, what they put for the summer kitchen. You don't see it from that angle. From over here, the refrigerator drawers and the, uh, the wine fridge, or the other fridge too, is blue. Look at the color. I love that. That is beautiful. Really, really nice. Of course, it's a wet bar too, so you have the, you have the sink there too, and you're overlooking the pool, and when these hedges, the porta carpuses grow, you're gonna have so much privacy. But this outdoor area is so great to entertain, and my favorite thing, is the jacuzzi. Also, the cabana bath that we mentioned is right over there, but now we're gonna go back in. Just gonna make sure. I think I avoided, did I? So now we're gonna go upstairs. Upstairs. Now on your way upstairs, you'll notice around there's beautiful, massive, big windows bringing in a ton of natural light and you get kind of like a view as you walk up too. A view of this space here, right? You're overlooking the great room here and you're looking out past the windows over there. You start seeing a little bit of water, which is what we're gonna see in the primary suite. But first, I wanna mention that up here we have four bedrooms, okay? There's four. You have one ensuite bedroom there, two ensuite bedroom over here, and third, ensuite bedroom over here. Every single one has its own bathroom with beautiful bathroom finishes and built out closets as well, which is really, really nice. More importantly is right over here, you have your elevator. Like we mentioned downstairs, this is where the elevator comes up and then we'll see where it lands on the third floor, right? But now we enter the primary suite. Before doing that, we have your laundry room up here as well. So you have two laundry rooms. You know, like in the song where it goes like, I got two phones, and this one is like, I got two laundries, one for my guests and one for my kids. We can make a song like that. Why you got a two laundry cart, why you got a two laundry room house. Yeah, all right, anyways, sink over here. This is a nice area, so you have an area to, you know, kind of fold the clothes, and maybe a little midnight area, you know, 
to get going on over there. Oh, actually, no, this is the Midnight Snack Bar. What? Perfect transition. Made you think it was there, but it was here. Midnight Bar over here. You have your refrigerator in your primary suite. Double door entry, of course, as you walk in. You get a lot of light coming in here. Floor to ceiling, glass sliding doors that look out to the water. This view is incredible. This view is out of this world. You're over, looking over the homes here, looking at the bay, and then at night, you're gonna see some of that city skyline of Miami Beach, which is really, really nice. It's a big outdoor terrace here, private, just for the primary suite, so you and your significant other can have a sweet time inside or outside. <laughs> this is your, uh, you have your king size bed here with the nightstands. Uh, of course, the midnight bar area we mentioned, a seating area here so you could really enjoy the view out there. And then over here, we have the bathroom, right? Bathroom is over here, all right? You have double vanity, really, really nice. Love the countertops and I love the cabinetry as well. It's a unique, it's different from all the other bathrooms we've seen, which I personally love when builders do that. And then of course you have your makeup station here. You have your shower that you could literally have a party in. I mean, look how big this is. Look at, look at this, look at this. You can have a party in the shower. Double shower head, rain shower, it's raining in here. It's raining, you know, wow. So beautiful shower, I love it. And then you have your tub here, of course, but I love where they, like, they put all these windows. Windows everywhere, so like from this angle, I'm looking out to clear skies, which is actually like a nice, peaceful view too. Tub, right, love the stone that they put throughout the entire bathroom, right? And then obviously the LED mirrors, speakers in here as well. Two water closets, no sharing toilets here, no, 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 you see? See, get a little peek. We don't really like showing toilets on this channel. And then this is your walk-in closet. Isn't this a dream? This is incredible. Speakers in here too, because you know why? When you're putting on your clothes in the morning, picking out your suit, you're going, you're listening to the song. I'm trying, I was trying to think of a song of like something. Wake up in the morning feeling lightning. And na, 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 na. That's what you're listening to when you're like waking up in the morning to choose from, oh, what am I wearing today? But it's a really nice closet. And I love that island they put as well for extra drawer space. So this primary suite is incredible. It's really, really nice. But honestly speaking, my favorite part about this entire house, the one thing I love the most is that rooftop terrace with 3,800 square feet. So now, without further ado, let's go and check out the rooftop terrace. Welcome everybody to the 3,800 square foot rooftop terrace, the best rooftop terrace that we've ever seen on this channel, arguably. Honestly, at the top of my head, this is one of my favorites for many, many reasons. So much space here. There's not one space where you can't entertain. First things first, this retractable pergola is incredible and it's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Look at this. So it's closed right now. Now it's open. Sun's coming in. This is great, especially at night. And even when it's open, you still get some shade, which I love. This is really nice. And then obviously you saw here, the summer kitchen right behind me, which you have the blue ice maker, refrigerator drawers. You have a big green egg smoker there. You have the burner. You have the barbecue. And of course you have a sink. You literally have everything you would possibly need to be able to entertain and host people on your 3,800 square foot rooftop terrace. But let's not forget this, where you're gonna entertain. So over here, this is just half of it, right? You have a really, really nice deck over here with seating areas, right? This is where you're gonna eat. This is where you're gonna lounge. You put a TV up on that wall, you watch the Dolphins win the Super Bowl. And over here, you're dining and you're overlooking that water view, the water view of the bay. And then at night, when you're entertaining at night, because that's probably where you entertain sometimes too, you're gonna see the city skyline of Miami Beach all along over there. Literally all like from, you even see Sunny Isles. From Sunny Isles, all the way down to South Beach. That's incredible. And then over here, you have more space, which is artificial turf, right? The kids can be playing, you're not worried about it. Everybody, ha ha ha, you know, playing whatever. 
This is honestly a great space. And this is where you can get a tan on if you wanted to, if you wanted to, but there's actually more areas for us to do this. Now we're gonna walk down through over here, right? There's more space, you're getting a good angle of this space. But I also wanna point out, because I was there and I didn't mention it, is this view over here, right? You look down over here, you see Brickle, Edgewater. I'm looking at Elise from over here. So at night, this is gonna be really, really nice over here. You see the skyline, you're overlooking the tree canopies. It's a very nice, it feels like we're in the middle of nowhere, but we're in the middle of Miami. Isn't that great? Now we come down over here and we're seeing more of this rooftop terrace. We're back to where we started, but now I'm gonna point out this over here. So you could dine here, have six people sit over here. You could have another place to dine, to entertain, to host. There's cabinetry storage over here. And on top of that, if you have someone who can't be going up and down the stairs, no problem. This right here is where the elevator comes out of. So your elevator's coming out from over here. They come up and this is the landing area. And then over here, this will be a bathroom up here as well. So nobody has to go downstairs to use the bathroom. Now, we're at this part of the deck over here, which is really nice. We're getting probably arguably the better or the best view from this angle. I like the view from over there, but this view over here is really nice too. You know, overlook, overlooking the entire basically bay and city like we saw before. But what's really cool is the house is actually jacuzzi ready. So this hole right here, you could put a jacuzzi right here. If you want to, you don't have to. Remember, you do have a pool downstairs as well. And then over here, more space for you to get your tan on and lounge. But all of this, you're literally on top of the world up here. A big space to entertain in the shade and a big space to entertain in the sun or at night, this won't even be a problem. The sun's not gonna be beaming like it is on me. And all of this overlooking some of the best views. And that's the end of the tour. $10.95 million. I can barely keep my eyes open because the sun's right in my face. So I'm gonna come like right in an angle here. Ah, uh, that's better. $10.95 million in Miami, just south of Miami Shores, very centrally located, brand new construction, almost a half acre. And the most important part, that dock right over there, 100 feet of that dock, which is new, that's for you to park your boat, your yacht. It's deeded with this house and it goes straight out to the bay with no bridges. I mean, literally, you're like one house away from the bay. Talk about waterfront living, $11 million, new construction, sign me up. Full, it may have, I was gonna say full tour on YouTube, but this is YouTube. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Love you so much. Thank you for your support as always. And uh, if I keep staying here, I won't be able to, to, to look at the camera any longer. watching the tour since you're here you might as well watch some other ones why don't you watch this one right here or, or maybe this one right here <laughs> and while you're at it why don't you just go subscribe as well and if you're looking to buy a house in South Florida just shoot me an email too <laughs> we'll see you in the next tour